Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time we took care of a few things here and there, and we got back to, uh, I don't know, doing more side quests. We started the Ancient Forest here. And we get two more of these, and we can pop up here, which is quite useful. Here, probably one of the better areas to have uh, the little icon above your head. Remember that little area I was just at, the uh, one just up there above those flies there, because I'm going to have to go back there off screen now that I've collected the Minerva band. Basically just go off the, over there the same way I did last time. There we go. Back up here. Now, we want to run around the back side here. And if you notice, there's a little way you can go down there. You don't want to do that yet. You want to head over here. And a very interesting case here. That looks like a little item bag. Every time we find materia laying on the ground, it looks like materia. However, we have the typhoon materia. Goddamn typos! This is the typhoon materia, and for some reason it's in a different, uh... That's not where I want to go. It's in a little item bag instead of looking like material, which is kind of weird. In order to get down here, you need to press the up button, go figure. And we can head down here. We don't need that anymore. Slash all is really good. <laughs> if it's not already obvious, it allows you to hit, um... Oh, what is it? Uh, multiple... Um, enemies with a single blow. You can hit all enemies with it, which is very useful. No! I got attacked. Too close. Little too close. Got this other fly over here. Put it in there. Jump over here. And there should be a fly right here, which we can now put into the mouth of the cave, which will draw out the frog to eat said fly. And pop it in here, go over here. Wait a second. Employ fast forward. Pick up the frog again. Place it here. Employ fast forward again. And come on. And then eventually, we'll get kicked over here. And this is pretty much the end of the area. Not a lot left. The reason I didn't finish it off last time was because it just the video was the video was just getting too long. I was tired. Need sleep. Not, not sleeping enough right now. Jeez. Anyway, in the that chest we got an elixir in the one before we get potentially one of the most useful weapons in the game, the apocalypse sword. The reason why it's so useful is one, it has the I think it's the third highest attack strength in the game for one of Cloud's weapons. And it has triple materia growth, which is insane against certain super bosses that give way, way more AP than you would normally get from battling for even an hour. It is nuts. So, yeah, it's uh, it can be very useful. I'm going to have to rearrange my materia. As you can see, I have too much on right now. I'll have to reorganize this stuff later. I don't know. I'll screw around with it and I'll figure out what I want to do. Other than that, what else was I going to do next? Right, right, right. That's what I'm going to do next. I want to head back to Lucretia's cave and hope that uh, that's kind of the unofficial name for it. I don't think it has a name, actually. Let's see here. Get off the chocobo. Employ PHS. We'll throw in Vincent here. Now, have I gone through enough event sequences yet? Looks like I have. You have to go and muck around a little bit, I think, get in a few battles or something like that to trigger this to actually happen. You can't just walk back and get it, but here we get the Death Penalty and Chaos, his ultimate weapon and his ultimate limit break. Which means... Let's take a look at some of these uh, ultimate limit breaks I've been picking up here. Already showed off all of reds. And come on, where is it? Uh, got more left. Here's chaos for Vincent. I'm getting less human. Yeah, when you turn into chaos, you're definitely less human. As before, 
the uh, the Galleon Beast, or the Galian Beast, or however you want to pronounce that, has a normal attack and a fire attack. The Death Gigas has a normal-ish attack and a lightning attack that hits all enemies. The fire attack also hits all enemies. The Hellmasker I almost never use because by the time I can earn this one, I can get Chaos relatively shortly after. And yeah, so Hellmasker has a multi-hit combo and I think a status effect type one or something like that. I can't really remember. Chaos has one that's basically the equivalent of slash all and another one that deals some damage and inflicts a whole bunch of status effects on one target. So yeah, his Chaos Limit Break is better than all the other ones. Except maybe Hellmasker, but you know, his his damage is not going to get that high in my playthrough just because I don't use him nearly enough to up his damage that much. Uh, oops, I'm not going to go through ultimate weapons today. I'm going to have to do that later because I don't have the information in front of me and I can never remember it. Let's put Tifa in here and Yuffie. Got their ultimate limits now, so might as well do that as well. All creation for Yuffie. And, well, while I'm in there anyway, might as well do Final Heaven. And let's take a look at their ultimate limit breaks. With Tifa, you obviously want to set it to the end because she can use all of them in sequence anyway. There's no point in being on level 3, really. Beat Rush is normal attack. These are all pretty much just normal attacks with her. I don't think there's anything that does anything else. Yeah, they're all single targeting normal attacks. They all do slightly more damage the higher you go up in, in sequence or whatever. But yeah, she can get a total of 7 hits with her limit break if you do it right. And yeah, that's pretty much all you really need with her. I'm not a big fan of her limits late game. Early game, pretty good though. Yuffie, on the other hand, has some pretty useful ones, and some that are basically useless. Grease Lightning is a normal attack, it's not particularly useful. Their tank pool is another healing tech, heals all allies, which is quite good when you get her. Landscaper, we've seen. Bloodfest is uh, a multi-hit attack, which is actually reasonably good, just low on power. Gauntlet is very similar to Landscaper, hits all enemies. Doom of the Living attacks a lot of times. And if you increase her strength stat enough, she can deal a lot of damage with it. It's very good. All creation, on the other hand, just hits all enemies. Probably going to do max damage almost every time, but you'll be able to do more damage overall, especially against opponents with lots of HP, if you're using Doom of the Living. So I'm going to leave it on level 3 for now, because I, I have seen no reason to use all creation. It, it may do, you know, at this point, like 6,000 damage to all enemies, but most of the time I can deal close to that in two rounds anyway, so it really doesn't affect me all that much. Alright, where's red there? Get my party back in order here. Might as well use a tent while I'm sitting around doing nothing. And... Re-enter the Chocobo. Now... You know what, I'm just going to go back to um, get my airship, and then I'll meet you at Janon. And here we are, back in Janon. And I have rearranged some of my equipment, some of my materia, some more stuff that I could do at the Gold Saucer to get uh, a couple more, you know, things that I could possibly use, but they're really unnecessary, and I'll have a... Uh, there's one more piece of material I want to get before I go back there to do some more work in the battle arena. And uh, without, you know, I won't spoil what it is or anything, but I need, in order to get that, I need to go through this sequence first in order to open up that area. So we head back to Janon. And everything is pretty much the same, except I can still use fast forward to run through. And, we get a little surprise sequence. We're missing something. I wonder what's missing. Something seems off, does it, Cloud? There's... Actually, I think some of the shops around here do upgrade, but the only ones that are all any importance, from what I remember, are the weapon shops. So we can go check those out real quick. 
don't think there's much uh, we need to really do. And I'll just fast forward. Oops. It'd be nice if they didn't change directions every time I go through a screen. Now I think... If I remember right. Yes. This guy now has upgraded gear, from what I remember. Now, let's see. Anything useful? No, he still has garbage. I could have swore he upgraded his gear. The other guy must have upgraded his gear. Because I know there is some... No, not back in the same door. Somebody upgraded their gear, and I'm almost sure that that's the wrong house. I don't know Janon very well. You only ever really need to come here once. Move! Get out of the way, Dougie. Yeah, and so there's just no real reason to come here a second time. I think he sells materia. Whoa! I'd forgotten about that. Huh. Go figure. This is only the accessory spot. Though, they do have some random weapons. They really do have random weapons here, like magic shuriken and enemy launcher. Look at the damage difference between these two. I have no idea why these things are here. I think these are some items that are like, you can't get at other locations or something like that. But there are definitely shop upgrades. Not all of them are particularly important. Whoa! Get out of my way. Let's see, is there anything useful to buy from you? Yeah, you can buy all those no materia growth, no slots, all that stuff, and the, we got one of those, I think only a little while ago. Not that it really matters. They serve absolutely no purpose. But yeah, some of the shops are upgraded, and I think materia shop got an upgrade too. Either way, I don't really care for any of it. I never come back here to get extra stuff. It never really occurs to me. By the time we can come back here to get new gear, we can just go on with the game and get even better gear, like I did with the, uh... uh with the Apocalypse Sword and the Ancient Forest there. You can do that at any time, really. And... Charge! They all ran away. <laughs> oh, well thank you, you told me where I needed to go. Such a kind spirit. Well, not really a spirit. Kind captain, I guess it's supposed to be. Captain of the guards or something like that. What do we have here? Probably the same enemies we can see here before. Yeah, we could fight these guys before. But, yeah, they're of no challenge anymore. These were the enemies that you would you could grind at, you know, on disc one, where they would have been quite difficult. And here we have an elevator ride with two soldiers. Oh, how nice! <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Anyway, these guys are pushovers. Let's see Slash all in action. And then Mime, if somehow she doesn't one-shot them both. Oh, well, she uh, petrified the one. There, that's better. Cloud's got some better damage. <laughs> of course, that was a critical, but same same thing. He definitely does more damage. And we can get Wind Shinra betas from them, which aren't particularly useful. Aww. Guess she wanted to be asked out. Anyway, we'll leave her alone. Yay, more battles! Nothing to these enemies. Don't need to worry about them too much. That dog is guarding somewhere. That we can't get to right now. Or they won't let us go to. Whatever. Let's, um... These guys are... No, guard system. Not even listed on my beast here. Probably enemies that were here during our uh, last... Our big escape from Janon when we were rescuing Tifa there. So, yeah, I don't have these guys listed because I had them listed before. And I either explained them or ran into them then, which means I probably don't need to show off the battle, but I'm lazy and I don't want to cut it out, so. You guys get to listen to me anyway. Yay, speed plus levels up, I get more agility, more dexterity, or whatever the stat's called in this game. 
So many battles, jeez. It's annoying cutting all these battles out. Alright, there we go. And we get... Ah, another elevator. This one heading down. Down quite a ways, too. How far down does this go? Jeez. I felt it was long enough they had to cut out almost all of it. How far down are we? Creepy. What's going on down here, huh? Yes, we're at the bottom of the ocean. Go figure. There is one important enemy around here. No, oh, here's a new enemy anyway. Not the one I was looking for, mind you, but that's alright. This is a Corvette. Doesn't look like a Corvette, but apparently this is a Corvette. And what are they? They're invulnerable to Earth, and pretty much every enemy down here has water damage. So just don't use Aqualong, and you'll be fine. Let's see if I can find another enemy. And this was the one I was looking for. Very nice timing. Well, not really timing, but thank you for finally showing up. This one's kind of annoying. You want to use L4 Suicide to lower its HP, and then morph it a couple of times, probably because it won't all happen all at once. And let's see if Cloud can finish the job here. Nice! And he morphs into a guidebook, which is an important key item for later in the game. Uh, let's see, he, the ghost ship, is invulnerable to Earth and gravity, has water damage, and is weak to holy and has 6,600 HP, but with L4 Suicide, you don't need to even worry about the amount of HP he has. Some more enemies down here. I wonder if I'll be able to show them all off, or maybe I should just run on with it. Most of the enemies down here are not too challenging. Let's see if I find one more. One more, and then we can move on. Come on! Here we go. One new enemy, at least. One more new enemy, and then I think I'll move on. Diver Nest. I didn't even put that one in my list because it wasn't on my bestiary source. Go figure. Anyway, enemies that I have not run into while I've been down here. Let's see here. I found the Corvette. Wasn't what I expected. I found the ghost ship. There is a Guardian around here somewhere with 4,000 HP. Nothing much to worry about there. A gun car carrier who's weak to lightning. A hard attacker who has ice and water damage, has 2500 HP. Uh, 2600 HP for the senior grunt who has water. And the other one I know we're going to run into later, so I won't bother mentioning it. Anyway, let's move on slightly, and uh, yeah, let's. I think we'll get into this door and then we'll cut the part here. Here's an elevator. Let's take the elevator. Press the button, Cloud. This is pretty cool. You just kind of see the water as you're, you know, rolling down. I think that's pretty cool. Now, if I remember right, ah, this sounds like reactor music. So, yes, we will storm the underwater reactor when I see you guys next time.